Hey, what's going on everybody from First We Feast? I'm Sean Evans and you're watching Hot Ones. That's the wrong show. What is up? I'm Casey Carrigan. Welcome back to a new episode of Workout Wednesday. We are going on week two of quarantine and the lockdown. All gyms are closed. Actually, everything's closed right now. Everyone is working out from home right now and trying to figure out what workouts they can do from the safety of inside their own living room. And I'm here to show you. Today we are gonna be going over resistance band workouts. I need a taller tripod. <laughs> I'm gonna be just going over a bunch of resistance band workouts that will be able to target the entire body. That's right, we're gonna be going over biceps, triceps, shoulders, traps, back, butt, legs, abs, the whole body. All you need is one resistance band and that's it. And you can get a full body workout and I'm here to show you. Let's jump into it. First, we're gonna target biceps. The good thing about resistance bands, even if you have really loose, stretchy ones, you can step further and tighten it up. So these are simple. We're gonna go over just basic curls like this. Now the fun thing about resistance bands and just curls in general, if you've seen some of my previous videos, is that there's countless of variations of it. So you can just do normal curls, you can do 21s, which I've mentioned in videos before. So you go seven, seven, then seven full, equaling 21. Or you can do hold it, go up, come down, come up, hold it, go down. You can change it up whatever way you want to do. That's the beautiful thing about biceps. One thing to keep in mind with resistant bands is I like to go slower. I like to really capitalize on the tension that is given from the bands. So when I do my workouts, we're going slow, so we're getting that tension all the way up, feeling it. That tension's still there, and then you come down just as slow. You're gonna feel that all the way through. And that's it, that's one workout. We're going into the next one. We're hitting shoulders. Now, because of space, I'm not going over my head like so, which just goes to show you that you can really do these pretty much everywhere. We're gonna go out, and then we're gonna go in. And that's one, we're gonna do 10. So we're gonna go out, slow, inward, slow. That's one, and then we're gonna do 10. We're gonna be safe, so if this hurts too much, either try to loosen up the rein down here, or just go up a little bit. That's two body parts, biceps, shoulders. Now we're gonna hit the traps, that's right. You didn't think you could hit traps with resistance bands. Now because of the tension with these resistance bands, I gotta take away some of the slack here, like so. So now they're a little bit tighter, and then we're going to shrugs, that's it. Now this might not feel like a lot of weight, but if you do enough of these, you're gonna feel it. And you go slow and hold that pinch. Then we can go rotation, hold, backwards. The beautiful thing about resistance bands and just any workouts in general is you do them at your own pace. You either do 25 or you do five. Whatever works for you, don't push yourself, especially when you're first starting out. You don't want to get hurt. That is how we get hurt. So we've hit the biceps, we've hit the shoulders, we hit the traps. Now we're gonna hit the upper back. Now you're gonna grab these like so. And you're gonna stretch, extend like that. Just like that. I'll turn around so you can see it. Extend. Hold. Slow. Guess what? That's four workouts. We're going biceps, shoulders, traps, back. Now we're going right into the triceps. That's right. So feet back over. We're going to go bend over. Put your triceps parallel with the ground. And extend. Slow. And a fun little variation is rotate. Did you hear that pop? <laughs> I haven't done tries that in a minute. <laughs> now we are going to take it to the lower body. If there's legs, there's butts. And we are going to do squats. Get your legs nice and shorter width apart. Bring these up right here. And all we're going to do is squats. Ooh, yeah. Now next we are going to do chest. These are going to be simple push-ups, but you're going to have the tension of the cable across your back. So what I like to do is I like to hike it up a little bit, come here, get a good position right on my back, come right up to push-up form, and boom. Now you might feel it slide around a little bit, that's okay. You should be able to find a nice little groove for it, like right there. 
basically doing bench press now. Those ones can be a little tricky. It's all a matter of finding the right little nook in your arms. But nonetheless, you're basically doing weighted push-ups, which is nice. Now, we're gonna hit the butt. Sorry, we're gonna hit the butt. You've seen me do this in exercises before. You're gonna hike up very far, get into this position, and then you're gonna go against your own body right here. And push down. So these arms are pushing down and your hips are pushing up. Now you're wondering, Casey, we've hit the chest, we've hit the tries, we've hit the thighs, we've hit the shoulders, we've hit the traps, we hit the back, we hit the legs, we hit the butt. What about the abs? I got you. Now be careful with these. These cables snap over your feet. You're gonna hit yourself in the face. You're gonna extend all the way. I like to lift them up a little bit, but after a minute, that becomes very difficult. So you can have them on the ground or you can lift them up. And then you're gonna do a Russian twist. You wanna do a little bit of a leg press? There it is. Look at that. Now, you can do a ton of more workouts. If you have a door handle or a pole that you can wrap these around, you wrap this around a pole, and then you got your twist again. You got your rows. Turn around, you got your chest press. It's as simple as that. Be creative in these times. So I know this was another short one, but I'm really just trying to show you some things that you can do at home. You know, working out from home sometimes needs to be a little creative. I just showed you a full body workout that you can do with one resistance band. That's all you need sometimes. So don't sweat it that gyms are closed. Sweat it at home. That's not bad. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Workout Wednesday. Comment below what you want to see me do next. These are weird, scary, unfamiliar times, so I hope everyone is staying safe, staying healthy, and staying inside. Don't worry about the gym. Bring the gym to you. That's it. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Love you. Bye.